I have wanted one of these for years and I finally got it this past Christmas. So I'm gonna tell you about this. It is the Givenchy Pandora wristlet. We'll look it over and then we'll do a what fits because I'm very curious to see what I can actually put in this little box. <laughs> Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is that you get to see my community posts. They show up on your homepage of YouTube, and that is where I tell you about deals and sales and discount codes so that you can get bargains like I did on this piece. The Givenchy Pandora wristlet is a $500 item and I got it for about half price from a place called Rebones and I had never heard of Rebones before. I'd never used them. This was my first and so far only purchase. I had been thinking I would get the black Pandora wristlet with the silver hardware but when I saw the bronze one, anyone who knows me and has been watching my channel for a while knows that bronze is one of my colors. I have a little metallics collection, much of which is bronze. And then the price, this had to come home with me. So let's take some quick dimensions, take a look at this item and the features, and then throw some things inside to see what it'll hold. This item is six inches across, and then it's square on the ends. It's about three and a half inches square. It is, let's see, some of the construction of this. This one, I think all of them are goat's leather, which is one of my favorite leathers. Let me give you a little spin here. So the front of the bag looks like this, and of course it is just a box. It's a leather box. Uh, it has two zippers. It has the one on the bottom here and then the one on the top. The one on the bottom has a little leather zipper pull. Both of the zippers are metal. They're not plastic. It says Givenchy in metal here. Like I said, this zipper pull is a little leather tab. This one has the wristlet strap attached to it so you can slip your hand through there. And of course it has the chain. It has the chain with the leather running through it on this side. It's attached like that, sort of woven. The, the leather is woven through the chain and through the back of the leather strap to hold it in. And the back of the strap does not have the chain on it. So you have the piece of leather on the front, that's the front flap. You have the two pieces of leather on the ends. And then the rest of the body is made up of two pieces of leather with the seam running across the bottom. On three of the sides, it's sewn where the stitching is inside and like the, the ends of the leather inside the bag. But up here it has glazing on those two sides, so that's gonna be on that top flap. There's also glazing right here and right here and on the ends of the strip of leather there. This bottom zipper, this one, is a small compartment. What this is, is a flat compartment that's about the size of this side of the bag, so it'd be about six by three and a half, although my finger only goes this far down, it doesn't go down to here. So that pocket is actually not three and a half inches deep. Let me measure that. That pocket's only two inches deep. So I was thinking, let's do a quick what fits here, that I might be able to put my phone, I have the iPhone 10 in that pocket, but I don't think it's gonna fit in there. No, I definitely cannot get my phone in that front pocket. And I have a card case here. I don't think that'll fit either. That sticks out. So I don't know what I'd put in that front pocket. Maybe I could keep a pen in there. Pen would fit. You could, if you had your ID and a debit card or something, that fits. So you could put some loose cards, cash, coins in that little pocket, receipts notes, grocery list, that would work. Now this big zipper with the wristlet strap on it, that is what opens up to the inside of the rest of the bag here. Let me take the tissue paper out. Not sure how well you'll be able to see inside, but it is one big opening there. Now one of the things about this is, if you look at the zipper, we know the whole bag is six inches across, but there's some space here and space here where the zipper is not. So the zipper is actually smaller than six inches. The opening itself is only five inches. You use an, you lose an entire 
inch to get things in here. So that could pose a problem. Let's try to put a few things in and see what fits. I've got my phone. It's critical, right? So that fits. That's easy. Easy to get in there. Now once I have a bunch of other stuff in there, it may not be so easy, um, but maybe I can fit it right on top. If I have other stuff in, we will see. I'm going to leave it out for a minute. don't think that the small PM Louis Vuitton agenda will fit in here, but I wanted to get it and see. Oh no. <laughs> No, no, it will not. Uh, look at the zipper opening. It's quite a bit larger there, so that would not work. And even if I put in the smaller end of the zipper, I mean the smaller end of the agenda, uh, there's no way to get it in there and turn it. So it will not fit the Agenda PM. I have my Chanel Boy card holder coin purse. This is what I use as my wallet most days. Just saw this, so I'll show you. It has a little Givenchy leather tag in there, and it says made in Italy. It's lined in fabric, by the way. So that will fit in there with nothing else in the bag. Let's fill it up with other things and, oh, and a card holder will easily fit in there. Um, but let's put other things in it and see how difficult it gets to put things in once there are other things already in there. Makes sense? Now I'm thinking something this small, if I need to carry other things, I'm not gonna carry this. I'm gonna carry a card holder. So I'm gonna set that aside and just do the card holder. All right, I have a variety of things here. I've got some tissues that fits in because it's squishy tissues. On that front pocket, I'm gonna put a pen and let's see, I could put little things like my Swiss Army knife in there. You could put a little hand cream. You could put lipstick. I have a little Vuitton Cactus Garden perfume sample. So I'll put those in there, zip that up. I could fit more things in there, but that's what I have. I've got a little Chanel compact mirror. Put that in there for a night out someday after COVID. Play with some extra keys in it. A little box of mints. A scrunchie. I have to have a scrunchie. And I'd say it's about half full now. Let's see. Again, I don't know how well you can see in there, but it's filled to about half. Let's see at this point how easy it is to get my card holder in. Still very easy. And my phone. I haven't seen many videos. It's a little harder to get my phone in now. I haven't seen many videos on this piece. That pretty much fills it up. I mean, you can still fit some more things in there, but you can see that's pretty close to the zipper at the top and I'd like to have room to get other things in there. And for a small piece, it is kind of heavy at this point. Of course, that all depends on what you put in it. Um, I did see another video that was a what fits on this bag and there was a guy, this was a while ago, so I don't know if I can even find it again to link it below, but he had a ton of card holders and just packed this thing full. And I was thinking, like, it's great that it fits that, but how do you get to the one on the bottom without taking everything else out? So I figured it's probably good to leave a little extra space in there. Um, oh, one more thing I wanted to try. I have a pair of sunglasses. Now these are my Tory Burch Riva Square sunglasses. They're quite large. This might be a little bit of a challenge to get these in. You probably want to have smaller sunglasses in this particular bag. Plus I think, well, let's just hold them up to the bag itself, first of all. Um, so here they are in their dust bag. They're, they're pretty big for this bag. Let's see, can I get those in? I can, barely. have to kind of squash them in a little bit, but they're in there now. So I could do that. And they're in there. I've got the wrist strap. My battery is dying, so I need to hurry up. Now would I be able to get my phone out, which is right underneath the sunglasses? And it's a little bit of a struggle to get it out. Let's see, partly because the cord of the sunglasses wrapped around the phone, still a little bit of a struggle to get it out, but I can do it. Can I get this phone back in on top of the sunglasses? I can, but again, it's a little bit of a struggle. And then getting to something on the bottom, like if I wanted to get my tissues out, it's pretty packed at this point, so I really have to dig down in there and find them and pull them out and, you know, I don't know, it's a little bit of a struggle. I could have them stand up at the back now. Again, it's hard to show you the inside, but it is pretty packed there. Let me take everything out and just show you what I had stacked in here. Okay, so this was everything plus the scrunchie and the mints here, and that all fit inside here and took up all of the space. Plus I have those few things in that front pocket, the pens and the perfume sample and the little Swiss army knife. So you could definitely use this as its own little clutch for an evening out or a dinner out or whatever. 
Um, one of the reasons I thought I would get it is to use it as a pouch inside other bags. It would work either way, of course. And this is my first and so far only piece from Givenchy. And it is a beautiful example. It's very well made. I love, of course, the leather and the color of it. The hardware is very nice. The zippers are easy. The quality, the construction. Um, I don't know how much this was worn, but it's a pre lev piece and it looks pretty much brand new to me. So I'm very happy with it. And I had realistic expectations that it was not going to hold a whole lot. So this, this works for me. Um, I'm not disappointed that it doesn't hold more because I already expected that. All right, well, thank you for watching. I hope that was helpful if you're interested in this piece or if you've never seen it before and I'm introducing you to it. The Givenchy Pandora line, as far as I know, this is the smallest bag in the line. It's mostly handbags. They have crossbody bags and they come in a few different sizes. The larger ones have an extra handle in addition to the crossbody strap and they come in all kinds of different colors. So if you're interested in a boxy handbag, it's something to look into. It's something to consider. It's a little edgy and I like them. I think they're really pretty bags. They all have that two zipper combination thing like this one has, which I think is pretty unique. All right, that's it. So I'm going to wrap up. Plus my battery has 2% left. Yes. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. I appreciate you watching as always. Hope you and your loved ones are doing well and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.